In Harry and Meghan's telling of it, their royal fairy tale soured just months after their wedding in 2018. The issue is when someone who's marrying in who should be a supporting, a supporting act is then stealing the limelight or is doing the job better than the person who was born to do this. Harry claims staff working for his brother Prince William and his wife Catherine, the future king and queen, leak stories to embarrass Meghan and undermine her popularity. That fed a media frenzy, which she claims led to thoughts of suicide. All of this will stop if I'm not here. And that was the scariest thing about it, is it was such clear thinking. I didn't deal with it particularly well. While Harry accepts some blame for not doing enough to help his wife, he accuses William, his father Charles, who's now king, and the rest of the palace of abandoning them. It was terrifying to have my brother um, scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true. The couple spoke fondly of their brief stay on Vancouver Island. If you could breathe for a minute. Until paparazzi caught up with them and they fled again to California, where they're trying to build a post-royal life. A huge missed opportunity. This royal commentator says while the breakdown of the brothers' relationship is a tragedy, damage to the broader royal family from the Netflix revelations will be limited. This they're talking about media intrusion, which is themes we've had before. Talking about the abuse leveled against them, we've heard these things before, they're just fletching it out. Some Londoners said they just felt sad over so many broken relationships. Yeah, I don't think anything will ever change. Racism just can't change. I think generally since the death of the Queen, it's just been looking not great for the monarchy. <laughs> there has been no response from the royal family, nor likely will there be. Instead, they appear to be stressing it's business as usual. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.